my channel and today I am back with another video and this video is like pretty much a vlog basically of what I do in my day to day life as a photojournalist or a journalist in general because I, I like photos but I wouldn't say I am a photojournalist myself so to jump right in I am in my junior year of college and I love to write my major is again journalism and I have a concentration well my major is communication and I have a concentration in journalism where I am pretty much the, a writer and here on my campus we have a Haunted Tribune where I write stories and I interview other students to get them prepared and ready and get them interested in the news that's around campus However, being a journalism student, it does take practice. It does it does take many requirements to achieve a journalism degree. Just in case if any of you out there want to be aspiring journalists just like myself or want to start on a different path. So first, well, I want to say like anything is possible if you put your mind to it and you have a great and positive mindset. So one of my things that I do, I have a pen and a pencil and a notepad because a pen is for permanent marks and a pencil, of course, is for when you mess up. And it's a lot of things that we mess up on. So we do need that extra handy tool to... Okay, we do need that extra handy tool to, well, fix our mistakes. Also, y'all, I'm trying to get so comfortable with the camera right now because I'm usually recording on my cell phone, which a camera is totally different, but that's fine. Um, but I'm going to show you what I do in my day to day. So let's get started. So basically what I would do in my day to day, I would first start with a clean fresh mind look at all my tasks that have that I have to do within the day so basically for my first class here I have a photo journalism and in here I have nothing because class has just started and basically all my work is online but I will just give you the rundown of this class that I have. So this class that I have, it's Introduction to Photojournalism, which means you're going to get to know about cameras, going to get to know about photos, and you're going to have to write and make captions for the for my class that I'm in. So basically, for all my classes, it's basically the same almost. Um, all of them have a different requirement of course and some of them and some of them have pretty much the same requirements so I have two classes that are almost the same so I have photojournalism and then I have which what is the other class that I have um, the other class that I have is called I will let you all know what it's called in a second so Let me just stroll through. So the other class that I have is called Introduction to Multimedia News Writing. So in this class, it's the same thing. We have cameras and basically there isn't a camera that is used for this course, but it is involving the course and it's online as well. And also, like, I haven't had too much experience with it, but I do know I've learned quite a bit from the last time I was in the class. And I, I am, like, we have, today we have to read chapters one and two, which I have to do to get more in depth in the material. But as of right now, I am a new journalism student. And like I said, there'll be more vlogs on basically the classes and what I do and sometimes I can try to video if I can within my classes to show you all so basically that's pretty much it 
for right now because I only have two and then I have a voice addiction class and then I also have a history course. So the history course and the voice and diction, the voice and diction is a required communication course that I have to take and the history is a course that I take to graduate. So if any of you all are in college, um, feel free to ask me any questions as far as like about school, about on campus, anything of that sort. So I will be seeing you all in the next video and like I said, I'm still new to the camera life so please be patient and please enjoy my videos that I that I make. So until next time, thanks for watching.